What's up guys, Joshua Skinner Farms coming back at you. Today we're gonna be uh, making our self wicking tubs. So, get everything gathered up and we'll show you right, that. So I got some four inch pipe here. This is just thin wall sewer pipe that was here, again, here on the farm. I'm using what I got here. If I had to buy it, I'd probably buy six inch, uh, like a black gutter downspout stuff. You guys see it. Most of you seen it in four inches. It comes a big roll anyway. To measure these, make them almost as wide as the bottom of the bucket. As long as the bottom of the bucket is wide, however you want to say that. But I'm gonna measure them out, cut my pieces. I got my landscape cloth, and I'll cut it. I'll show you all all that. Count my 18, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know, so I didn't know what you're doing. Huh? Uh, I need 18 and 36. See, it works out. We've had a struggle bus kind of a day to day. Everything that we've tried to do, it's like, and I know we're not the only ones that are like this, but it's like everything has been hard. It's, yeah. And it just, you get kind of frustrated. Like we needed to load this lawnmower up and the boys weren't here. And I am not strong enough. And I think he thinks that I would probably hurt myself. But it's just everything, you know, when you tr go try to do stuff, it just seems like everything's a battle. So, if you're out there today and you've had the same kind of day as us. Leave us a comment. Yeah, it'll get better. Tomorrow's another day and that's just part of it. <laughs> See, he's optimistic. Uh, Work time for everything. Yep. But no, I just, you just have to be thankful for what you have and look at it as it could always be worse. I always think of that. Uh, job meme where it's like and you think your day's bad and it's this outline of on a door where I would assume an elephant's pooped and it's like a body outline so yeah our day could have been worse that wind is wicked vicious though hold on it is so beautiful out and it is so nice out but oh my lord that wind <laughs> See, we just had another on those moment. He forgot to plug in the cord. And now we're going to have a dull blade. Do you, want, do you want me to hold this end or? See, this is the day just keeps getting more fun and more fun. This don't cut it. The saw is going to grow wings. Oh, no, 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 no. It's like the post holes. It's been supposed to be out of here. <laughs> I've got a funny thing. I told you earlier these are four inch pipe. We've seen them in down in the bucket. I'm gonna measure up three inches off the bottom of the bucket. Mark the 
and drill a one inch hole in it. That way it gives it room for air and water and everything else. And he's not going to be mad if it doesn't work out right. We'll just figure out a different thing. Isn't that right, Mr. Skinner Farms? Usa, that's our mantra. Usa. <laughs> Betty. She laughs like Betty Rebel. I'm trying to eat my fingers. Is that a little bigger you want, or is that the size you want? I mean, I've got it. This probably should have been a half inch bit, to be honest with you. I don't know what Daniel said now. Well, if we have to, we can get some of that gorilla tape and make it smaller. See? There's always an answer. I think this will be fine. So we even are using, so this is a self-wicking tub. Self tub with what you have at home. Now this is what you're putting down. Landscape fabric. Landscape fabric. And it needs to cover the ends of the tubes, right? See, I, we watched the Arms Family Homestead. Is that what it's called? Yeah, but he got the idea from uh, gardening with Leon. Yeah. Go check his channel. The man's like 80 years old, been gardening for 50 years. If, if anybody knows anything about gardening, it's Leon. Yeah, but we were watching the Arms Family Homestead, and I do remember Daniel saying it's got to cover the end of the things. I don't know why. That's it's what. The dirt from getting in the, I know, uh, but I don't know why that's why I what I remembered. Because I can't remember what size the hole was supposed to be, but I can remember. Got to cover the end of the tubes. I got the ends of my pipes covered and I'll just fill the rest of it up with dirt. I don't have any pipe here. I, more, I need another piece of one inch PVC pipe. I'm gonna stick down in here on the outside of that landscape cloth. And when I water these tubs, I can just stick my hose down in there and fill it up. We'll show you all that when we get that part. Yeah, that and that's not a bad thing that we don't have it. We'll have to go to town tomorrow and get some more pipe, but we can't do the plant. We're, we're gonna go ahead and plant the stuff in the video today, but we can't because we're supposed to get a real bad freeze tonight here in Indiana. So. It's gonna be down like 28. Yeah, so we're gonna have this a fire. Yeah, we're gonna have a fire in May. <laughs> You guys can do this in any kind of if you get put it in a five gallon bucket, use two liter bottles. Watch Leon's video on it, he'll uh, he explains it on his. But uh, I don't know where these what was in these originally. Something else we inherited with the farm. Not complaining. We've done so many projects that we've just used what we've had. And I think sometimes people get a little all worked up when they're, the, you know, these projects that you're doing at your house. You want to go out and, you know, some people go out and spend all this money. And it's like, use what you've got and improvise. And, I mean, make it work and you want to make it right. But look at what you have before you go spending a lot of money. Because I think sometimes people would be surprised. Like we said in the Army, adapt and overcome. 
gonna try to go that way. I'll kill myself. Oh, look. There we go. Dogs chewing something else up. I swear, our, our diesel, he's our Rottweiler. He's what, six months old? Or he'll be five six? Months old. He's five months old. And I know they tease, but oh my word, that boy will chew on anything. Did you find out these puppies are packed off? No. Where's he at? He's right here, we laying by me. Well, y'all seen the pipes I cut? He picked one up and took off across the yard with it. I don't know where yeah. it's at. I'll have to go find it here a bit. But right now I'm gonna take these, uh, I'm gonna hook on a trailer with a four wheeler and go up to a hay barn and get some of that old dirt put in here. They're gonna weigh a ton. When I get them done, it's gonna take three men to board and lift them, I'm sure. I should bring the dirt to them, but I'm gonna take them to the dirt. Cause if we have to, we can get a two wheel tolly and move them. <laughs> All right, guys. Cows used to get in here in this part of the barn. There's some more hay down in there. But this dirt, uh, cows ain't been in here in, I know, 20 years. So all the old hay and fertilizer and everything's all composted down where it's not gonna burn anything. And uh, that'll make some good dirt. So we'll get these tubs filled up real quick and uh, I don't know if I can sit up anywhere and show you anything or not, but here I'll give you another shot. It's a mess. There's a the hayloft. Got the old hook up there. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'll, I'll get up there one of these days and open the doors and let you guys see all that. But uh, it's just a cool barn. I got to do some work on it and touch it up. But let's get these tubs filled up. We'll be back. All right, guys, you can see this. That's where I'm digging this dirt at. And it's just as black a dirt as you've ever seen. I mean, <laughs> that ought to make some good garden soil. I still gotta finish filling this one up, but I get them all filled up and I'll take you out there in the somewhere because you really see how good this dirt looks. Alright guys, I'm gonna show you this dirt in the sunlight. That is just that's just good looking stuff there. That ought to grow something mean out of it. Uh got this old hay here. I'm gonna put in that bed I get it built up some I put some of that in there so I won't take this much dirt this is the same dirt that I put in this raised bed I showed you guys I built that one there's a little bit in that one over there with the wrap manure there's some wrap manure in this I'll go get some put in this one but anyway what well, hey I don't put um, in this bed over here I'll show you again I'll put out in the chicken coop, put some out there for them, and uh, maybe throw some out in the chicken run or something for them to dig around in. But anyway, <laughs> see if I can get these things unloaded and get this trailer cleaned off, and we'll be back. All right, so guys, I hope you like this video. It's uh, going to be a two-part video, I guess, because we're supposed to freeze tonight, and I'm not going to play anything in them tubs, so and I still got to get the pipe, the pipe put in it, so... Thanks to our veterans and servicemen and women for keeping our glory flying high on the farm back here. Uh, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed. Ring it the little notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.